Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about Joe and I want to talk to you a little bit about why he got the nickname that he's got or better yet why he chose it. Um, many of you know our family is deep, deep rooted in the history of Charlotte, North Carolina and surrounding areas deeply rooted in that history. Uh, we consider ourselves Charlatans and we will till the day we die. Uh, I can't remember what year it was, but I believe it was, it was in the 1990s, I believe. Uh, or early 2000s, but I know the story well. The Carolina Panthers, the NFL team, had a guy on the team named Ray Carruth, and Ray Carruth had met this young girl, and he wooed her and took her out on a date, and she got pregnant and he didn't want her to have the baby and she would not get an abortion so he hired a hitman to murder her and it progressed and they ended up murdering this precious young woman uh, Sharika Adams. Uh, I believe she was seven or eight months pregnant and Ray Carruth had her murdered. And it was a big, big, huge story in the United States at the time. But this story continues and I'm going to try to get through it without crying. This is how much this has touched us. Uh, so he had her, he murdered her, and Ray Cruz was convicted. He has since served, I don't know, oddly around 20 years, 17 to 20 years. He's out of prison now, so I don't know what goes on with that or with him. Uh, but the beautiful part in this awful, awful tragedy is Miss Sandra Adams. She is the mother of Sharika Adams. Her daughter was murdered, and not only that, they saved her daughter Sharika's baby boy. And he lived, but he has cerebral palsy, a lot of physical conditions. This, this young man, who is a young man now, but as a child and as a young man now, has. And Miss Sandra Adams chose to forgive. She's very strong strongest grandmother in the world to us. Strongest Christian lady in the world to us. And we have reflected back on that story and watched some more information on it. And Miss Sandra Adams is just completely as close to an angel as anybody can get. It takes a lot of godliness uh, to be able to forgive someone that has killed your daughter and has caused your grandson to, to be disabled. And she named her grandson Chancellor. 
and that's why Joe, Joe has chosen Chancellor. Uh, the Charlotte assassin part was due to our heavy roots in Charlotte. They go back many generations. And uh, the Chancellor part comes from Chancellor Carruth. These are the Miss Sandra Adams and Chancellor Carruth are the strongest physically, emotionally, and spiritually two people that we've ever come across. And that's why Joe has chosen his boxing or anything that he does uh, to be associated with Chancellor. And we just wanted to tell you this because everything that Joe does and that I try to do, there's, there's heart behind it and things are heavily thought out. And the things that aren't heavily thought out, it's like God just drops it in our laps. And we're very fortunate that way. So it's because of things that have happened bad in the world that Joe works so hard that he continually, continually, all the time, uh, carries straight A's across the board. If he gets a 98, if he misses one question on something, he's not happy with it and he tries to correct it. And that's the way the rest of us should really be striving for perfection to be the best we can <clears throat> at what we do in everything that we can do. Now, note the best we can. And everybody should do the best that they can do at any endeavor that they come across. Joe's been gifted so much athletically. Uh, we uh, are in Colombia, South America. Most of you know that. So we don't have uh, NFL type football here. But I went out and bought a football and he was when he was 13 years old, about a year and a half ago, uh, we got out on a soccer field and started throwing the football. And he just immediately was throwing the football 45 and 50, 55 yards with dead on pinpoint accuracy. And I, me having played high school ball, middle school ball, I was like in shock about that. So. This is nothing in due to Joe. Uh, God has gifted him, and he's just trying to use what God's given him. God's given him a wonderful mind and a wonderful big body to go with it. And we just thank God. We thank Christ, our King, every day for the blessings that are just bestowed upon us continually. And blessings like Miss Sandra Adams that come along and show and teach us how to forgive. Blessings like Chancellor Carruth, her grandson, that show us how to keep going when we want to give up. To keep striving. To keep up the good fight, as Paul said. And we just wanted you all to know that. And we send out love to everybody. And I would, uh, we've got this uh, wonderful video from the Charlotte Observer uh, that has ran a wonderful story on uh, the situation and Miss Sandra and Chancellor. And we invite all of you to go watch it because it is so touching. And this lady shows us what real godly forgiveness is all about and how to move on uh, through anything that we could possibly have went through. 
So much love to everybody, and thank you so much for watching this video. We will have that video up in our community section. So if you just hit the community tab button, you can go there and scan through, and that video will be there. And I would encourage everybody to watch it. Thank you so much.